Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, we have released our July drop, we have the Liverpool Originals t-shirts, along with the We've Conquered All of Europe t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Jordan Henderson will be leaving the football club, it is a done deal. He has agreed terms to join Al Etafak and has been given the green light from Jurgen Klopp. Huge news coming out this afternoon. Liverpool's captain will be leaving after 12 years at the football club. Look, this story broke last night. We spoke about it this morning that Al Atafak were confident in landing Jordan Henderson and Al Atafak had offered the player £700,000 per week to join. We also did say last night via David Ornstein and Paul Joyce that Jordan Henderson had leaned towards the move to go link up with Steven Gerrard. However, we have got breaking news this afternoon from Fabrizio Romano and Paul Joyce and co that Jordan Henderson has accepted Accepted Al Etafak's proposal. There is an agreement in principle, still verbal contract has been agreed. Deal now depends on Liverpool and Al Etafak discussing on the fee. No chance will Liverpool let him leave for free. However, the caveat towards this is that the fee is not going to be a problem for Al Etafak. They are prepared to pay whatever Liverpool demand, and Paul Joyce is reporting that fee is said to be around twenty million pounds. But Jordan Henderson will leave Liverpool Football Club this summer. That will be resolved in the next couple of days. It's a done deal. He has agreed terms. Jurgen Klopp's given the green light. And on a moral basis, Liverpool will not and will not stand in his way and reject a life-changing offer like this. Quadruple his current wages at Liverpool Football Club. And as I said, Liverpool confident as well that they can get £20 million for the player. That's how much they value him. And as I said, I'll Atafak have no problems, it's being said, of matching that fee. It's now over to him. But Jordan Henderson will leave imminently. Uh, the Liverpool captain, after 12 years, he'll be heading to Al Atafak. Bonkers. What a crazy, crazy world we do live in right now. That is the weirdest move I've ever seen in my life. Did I ever think over the last couple of days I'd be making a video about Jordan Henderson leaving for Al Etafak? Um, however, it has come true. It is a done deal. He'll be going to Al Etafak to link up with Steven Gerrard. Could this be the first of many players? Divo Carigi um, currently being linked with a reunion out there with Steven Gerrard. So that could be one to watch. But on the Liverpool front, the transfer news isn't stopping there. Saudi interest are from Al Itahad are coming in for Fabinho and they're said to offer £40 million for the Brazilian midfielder imminently so he could be the next man to leave Liverpool Football Club this summer but the first one is a done deal and it is Jordan Henderson who's leaving for Al Etafak after agreeing £700,000 per week terms and as I said Liverpool are close to agreeing a fee for the player. Honestly, honestly, honestly such crazy, crazy times that we're living in uh, and as I said this will now have to refund the rebuild don't underestimate how big of a loss this would be I know there's a lot of people on here that will talk about his technical ability yes you can replace Jordan Henderson's technical ability and I'd even go as far to say you could probably get a better player but don't underestimate the impact of his presence in and around the dressing room and as a leader out of this football club losing your captain and losing your vice captain in one transition transfer window is going to have a big effect. Jurgen Klopp is going to have a proper rebuild now in his hands, especially if Fabinho goes as well. Liverpool are in negotiations or are trying to make a move for Romeo Lavia, but they may need another two midfielders. Now, if Jordan Henderson, Jordan Henderson's gone and Fabinho's going to go, they need some more midfielders. So do expect a lot of movement in this transfer window, ladies and gentlemen. Loads of stuff is going to be happening this uh, uh, over the next couple of weeks. It's going to be really, really busy. So so strap yourselves in. Liverpool have got £60 million likely to be added to the transfer kitty from these two sales. Jordan Henderson, £20 million. Fabinho, £40 million. 
And then, as I said, they'll make a real impact. Romeo Lavia is said to be the next option. But as I said, do expect another midfielder to come in through the door. You can't lose five midfield players in one summer and not expect to just bring in two or three. They need another four or five more, more players, Liverpool. And this rebuild is really, really going to get underway. But the breaking news this afternoon is that Al Etifak have agreed personal terms with Jordan Henderson and Liverpool's captain is set to depart after 12 years on Merseyside. Huge, huge news. I can't believe it. I really couldn't believe that I'm, I'm actually making a video. Um, it's absolutely bonkers. It is crazy. Um, but there's more updates as time is going on. I'm looking at a, an update here from Sky Sports now as well. Liverpool would expect around double the £10 million fee being reported for Jordan Henderson, given the two years left on his contract. So yeah, it lines up with what Paul Joyce has said. £20 million looks like it's going to be the fee. But he's done. It it is done. It's a done dusted. He is going to Al Al Etifak to join up with Steven Gerrard. He is one of the two big high profile uh, departures this summer. But absolutely mental scenes. Jordan Henderson has accepted Al Etifak's proposal. I mean, for £700,000 per week, everybody's going to be doing that. He's going to earn quadruple his wages. He's going to be getting a longer contract. I'm said, I've heard the, ter the terms are two years with an extra year, um, possibly. So three years, he's got that security now. Um, and he's going to be going out to Saudi Arabia. So then after that, of course, after this Jordan Henderson saga is completed, it will be our eyes on Fabinho, then eyes on the incoming transfer market. So exciting times now, I suppose, if you are a Liverpool fan, depending on how you feel about this situation on losing Jordan Henderson firstly, but then likely to lose Fabinho. However, as I said, with players leaving brings exciting change, exciting players coming in through the door. Um, so as I said, do expect Liverpool to make a fair few additions this summer indeed but yeah things starting to really really heat up now and a real rebuild is amongst us remember Liverpool still have to sign a new centre-back and with a departure now Jordan Henderson will revamp the new leadership team within the squad obviously as I said vice captain uh, James Milner captain Jordan Henderson now gone it will now see Van Dyke probably step up as the captain uh, and then maybe Trent Alexander-Arnold as assistant uh, or vice captain, sorry. So yeah, there's going to be a massive change. This is a proper rebuild now. Uh, do keep up to date by subscribing to the channel. We'll keep you up to date with all the developments as we go along the way. If you haven't already followed my Instagram, I do that instantly as well. DanPWD96 for instant updates, so do follow there. My Liverpool fans, now over to you. Let me know your thoughts on the imminent departure of Jordan Henderson. How many players do the club need to sign this summer? As I said, let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.